Hi and welcome to car dealer management system developed using object oriented techniques. So let me show you guys how this works. So let's reset. There we go. So you enter customer details in there. So that's the reference number there and the name of the customer. So we can just say Tony. Tony Montana. An address. 76 let's say that's Johnny Johnny's way or Johnny's way or whatever right postcode town Carlton Carlton town alright down payment and deposit supposing it's going for a BM and he intend to, to trade in his old car there as the total that he has to pay we can also print as you can see if I hit on print this is what happened so let's go straight into Java Net being development environment and put one of these together Hi and welcome to Java Net being of an object oriented car dealer system. I'm going to start by clicking on new. Make sure Java is selected. Click on next. And right there, I'm going to give it a name. Let's say OO underscore car dealer. That's going to be the name of my project. Mm -hmm. And right there, I'm going to uncheck that, click on finish. Okay, right in here, inside the project area, I have my OO on the score car dealer. So let's right click and in there, let's go to new, select J frame. The J frame, I'm going to give it that same name. There, that's fine. Click on finish. Now that my form is ready, right click on the form and let's select set layer, make it absolute layer. And let's come straight to the project, uh, the properties, the property of the, of the frame. So I'm going to select code, right inside the code, the design size, I'm going to change that to 1386 by go for 800 and make sure you check centered close that okay the next thing I would like to do is to come straight to the property again you see on the property itself let's look for the preferred size right there and I'm going to change that to the same size okay on my preferred size is 1386 by 800 so let's come straight to this project now okay the next thing we want to do is to come straight to the project here and let's right click on uh, product there let's select new and let's select java class and the class name is going to be c customer okay let's click on finish Now that our customer class is ready, okay, right in here, let's create, let's enter some variables. So you can also call it data member, really. So the very first data member is going to be, let's say, private string customer customer ID and as follows so right in here I have all of the information for my customer name surname address postcode town proof of id deposit and down payment so all of these data member that you guys are looking at are all encapsulated so we need to be able to gain access to all of this so let's increase the size so that you can see it anyway yep all right now 
what I would then do is I'm going to go straight into the source here so that we can gain access to it and come right down here you see where we have insert codes and what we need to do is we want this to generate some code for us you see where we have getter and setter click on that and once you click on that you can select it all or you can just click on this to select it all okay and let's click on the encapsulate fields there now click on generate take note of what's going to happen guys the system is now configuring the getter and setter look at that that saves a lot of cooling time look at that guys okay so give that a shot as well that's good okay with all of these function that I've just created we'll be able to gain access to all of the private data member in there so this is more or less what you would call assessors function so let's comment that out and just enter assess on it right let's continue okay I'm going to create another class so this very class I would call that car access, um, access or accessory so let's come back in here right click on our project name and go to new let's select Java class so I'll call that car accessories there we go and let's click on finish there we go now right inside car accessories I'm going to enter the following data member there we go those are my data member and now I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing that I did with the earlier one let's go into source right here source and insert code and let's get and set select it all encapsulate the field there we go let it generate as you can see the accessories they all have price on them there we go guys now there's one more thing I want to do I'm now going to add this all of those okay to assist with the calculation right here I'm going to, I'm going to declare as follows let's say public there and what I want to do is okay let's get rid of that um, right there so the next thing I'm going to do now is let, let me declare another public variable so I'm just going to call that let's call it assessor or accessory course there so accessory course is going to be used as it's assigned everything in here so let's come in here you see all of these stereo so I'm gonna add that in there let's come right down here equals plus and the next thing is going to be modify say modified plus customize now let's enter the letter the interior plus GPS so we now need to return return there so that is my 
as a method created for the calculation okay I think this uh, okay let's change that let's add an S there the British spelling is alright okay that's fine okay I'm gonna have to change this one as well alright so let's change it to the British metal metal let's Okay, I prefer to spell it with an S. So the choice is yours if you want to spell it with letter Z, that's alright. Okay, now the next thing I like to do, let's come right down here, everything is fine. Okay, I'm going to have to create another class for the cars itself. Okay, let's create another one. One more class, right click, and I'm going to call that. We just call it cars. C cars. There we go. And click on finish. And right in here, let's declare the following data member. The first one is going to be private. Let's say spring. And the first car, let's go for. that so now we can speed up things um, and uh, maybe a BMW here then let's go for Porsche yeah and Aston Martin right I think four would do okay the other thing is let's come in here and say trading trading one so the car we're trading in number one let's say we're going for the mileage on that very car would be from zero to no let's say from one one to two thousand now let yeah once a car is out of the garage it's lost its value so one to five thousand all right that's the very first one one mile that's the first one so this okay yeah leave it as one to five thousand let's enter a quote there right and the next one is going to be enough that's two no this will be two three four five and this is let's say five thousand and one so the mileage on this one is five thousand and one two let's go for maybe twenty So that will be used to validate the price of the other car twenty thousand and one to fifty thousand. So this is fifty thousand and one. has no value at all and 
hundred and one to five hundred thousand. Okay, so that would do. So those are the trading and those are the names of the brand new car. So whatever car you want to trade in, if the mileage is within here, then uh, that can be trading. Okay, since they are all private, let's go to the source and insert code as usual. Let's just get on set, select it all, check encapsulate fields. There we go. There, guys. You can see get set. And the same thing get for BM, set for BM and so on okay so that is fine so all i'm going to do now is let's go back to here yeah, let's come right in here we now want to design the interface so the first thing is let's come straight to the palette here i'm going to select that and just paste that in there drag it comes through to the properties and look for the border and change the border width to maybe maybe 10 something like that and I'm now going to enter a label where is my label there we go I have a label there so let's speed that up anyway there we go guys car management car dealer management system now the next thing let's get the customer details on board get another one of those paste it here i repeat exactly the same thing okay this is how the interface looks for now and let's add one more so that is that will be for the receipt and take it down a little bit and it will maybe drag it down all right we just copy this let's copy that yeah. let's move it here get rid of whatever we have in here and modify that copy that paste maybe about that and move this up okay now let's copy three of these copy and just paste it in here Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, you see this one, let's change the names. So that's going to be, that's the tax that is charged and here, let's go for subtotal. And right here, we change this to total. thing is you see all of this I'm gonna reduce the size or maybe move move something a little bit up well I'm gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial I'll see you guys later anyway